We begin, though, here at 11 with more confusion at a Detroit cemetery. A family wants answers on where their loved one is really buried. The family says each time that they've asked, they've been told their mother is buried in different spots there at the cemetery. It's the second time local four is hearing about concerns at Gethsemane Cemetery. We told you yesterday about a family that exhumed a body to move it to a different cemetery and found four bodies inside the burial plot. The cemetery is on Gratiot near Connor on the east side. Larry Spruill was out there. He's hearing from a concerned family and the city. A local man says his mother was buried here at Gethsemane Cemetery on the Choice East Side, but he is not sure exactly where her body is located. He said he reached out to the former company for years, but has gotten the runaround. He saw our story on Friday, reached out to us on Saturday, hoping he can also get some answers. I bought, we supposedly bought a plot here and my mother's supposed to be buried here uh, in 2018. Michael Wilson says he's still not sure if that's the case. His 50 year old mother, Lori Wilson, died from surgery complications in 2018. He said he paid for his mother to be buried here in Gethsemane Cemetery on the Troy Seaside. He said he believes she's here, but he doesn't know exactly where because he never saw her body placed in the ground. We asked him to see pictures of it or pictures of her uh, casket, you know, and we never got any answer or anything. Wilson says in 2018, the former company who operated the cemetery told his family they were backed up in burials and suggested another date for the ceremony. But when they came back, they claimed they already buried her. And since then, he got the runaround. Now he's not sure what the truth is. When we first came out there, they directed us to another spot and it was like right in front of, it was ahead of that. And all of a sudden they pushed it all the way back. I don't, I, I honestly don't think she's right there. He has more questions now after watching our original report on Local 4 on Friday involving another family and their loved one here at the same cemetery. I saw, I seen another story, you know, aired last night, you know, and I was, you know, trying to get in touch. You know, I would like to see it with my own eyes. I did reach out to the city of Detroit, but it was after hours and on the weekend, but a spokesperson for the city did reach back out to me. He says that they are not aware of this situation, but they do want to reach out to the family to hopefully help them get some answers. Reporting on the Detroit Seaside, Larry Sproul, Local 4.